remote drill rig. The remote drill rig allows for a one-man operation enabling accurate drilling due to the proper securing of the rig into position. All mandatory PPE is to be worn. Prior to installation, make safe. Clean the floor to solid ground and mark the prop position according to mine standards. Place the rig perpendicular to the hanging wall on solid ground. Flush out air and water hoses, then connect the water and compressed air supply onto the drill rig's control manifold. Open and close the stinger control valve to test the up and down movement as well as its reach. Repeat this action. If the stinger reach is too short, the rig cannot be firmly secured prior to drilling. If the rig is unstable, it needs to be extended. Retract the stinger and tilt the drill rig off its wheels to access the extension footpiece. Remove the R pins from the rig's location pins. Extend the rig's footpiece by pulling the extension to the required additional length. Realign the pinhole. Insert the location pins and secure these with the attached R pins. Lift the drill rig off its wheels onto its extended footpiece and reposition. Open the stinger's valve, extend the stinger and retract it again to verify its reach. Accurate drilling is achieved by firmly securing the drill rig. Check that the drill rig is firmly secured. Place a short starter jumper if needed, for collaring into the chuck of the drill and latch the jumper retainer clamp. Move to a safe and supported area from where the remote drill control manifold is operated. Slowly activate the telescopic air leg with the right hand control valve. Check for a smooth up and down movement of the drill. Open the water control valve on the remote control manifold and check for a strong stream of Now open the left hand air control valve to start the drilling process. Check that the lubricant is coming from the exhaust port of the drill muffler. Whilst drilling, the operator must control the drill valve and not open the valve totally to prevent stalling the drill. Close the drill control valves when drilling is complete. Then close the water supply valve. To 
replace the starter jumper with a longer drill steel, remove the secure locking pin to unlock the drill and lift the jumper. And whilst holding it, swing the drill away from the drilling position to remove the jumper. Push the longer drill steel into the drilled hole. Then swing the drill back into position. Place the drill steel into the chuck and latch it. Lock the drill by reinserting the secure locking pin. Return to the safe and supported area of the remote control manifold. Repeat the drilling cycle until all the required holes have been drilled. Close the drill and thrust control valves as well as the water supply from the control manifold. Close the stinger control valve Lower the drill rig back onto its wheels. Retract the extended footpiece. Disconnect the remote control from the mine service. Elbrock, the ultimate underground support product manufacturers for safe and innovative support solutions to the mining industry.